A lot of people hate Kanye West because he has an ego, but the more you hate him for having an ego, the more egotistical he becomes. The guy revels in it. He's almost like Shawn Michaels taunting the Montreal crowd on Raw eight years after screwing Canadian hero Bret Hart out of the title. Did I lose you? Let me dumb it down for you. Here are five ways Kanye West is like a pro wrestler. Kanye West is pretty much The Rock. Let me explain. Dwayne Johnson entered the WWE as babyface Rocky Maivia. He was humble, he smiled, he did everything a good guy wrestler is supposed to do, but people booed the shit out of him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kanye West started his career as a babyface rapper who was self-aware, socially conscious, and had a ton of heart. The guy recorded his first single with his jaw wired shut. That's like kicking out of the Stone Cold Stunner but a ton of people still hated him. He's a jackass. As a response to the haters, Rocky Maivia embraces ego, turns heel, and becomes The Rock. Know your role and shut your mouth! In response to his haters, Kanye West embraces ego, turns heel, and becomes Yeezus. I am a guy, so hurry up with my damn massage. In a French Kanye's first three albums are College Dropout, Late Registration, and Graduation. The cover art is colorful, the songs are poppy, the records are full of comedy skits, and the guy has a goddamn bear as a mascot. This is his early 90s wrestling phase. It's cartoony, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. Then 808s and Heartbreak drops, and Kanye is suddenly dark and brooding. It's his mid-90s wrestling period. The NWO has just invaded WCW, and Kanye is Sting, our heartbroken outcast. How could you be so then comes my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy and Yeezus. This is late 90s, early 2000s wrestling, Kanye's Attitude Era. It's dark, it's gritty, it's provocative, out with the Hulkamania, and in with the double middle finger. I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. I'm really happy for you and I'ma let you finish, but could pretty much be in the script for any Monday Night Raw. Kanye takes boring segments and he shakes them up. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Not unlike every wrestler ever. Maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead. Right through the glass window of the barber shop. 1988 saw the two biggest wrestlers form the mega powers. 2011 saw the two biggest rappers create Watch the Throne. In both cases, these are two huge personalities who never needed a partner, but decided to team up and fucking run shit. Sports, I'm never going to jail. I made Jesus walk. Go ahead. Jay Z is Hogan, strong, safe. Kanye is our macho man, simultaneously fueled by pride and self-doubt. There's no better tag partner for Kanye than Kim Kardashian. She's got sham marriages, reality show level acting, and an extremely public sex life. Kanye responds to this not with jealousy, but with bravado. He treats Kim's exes like lesser wrestlers he beat out for the world title. I made it over NBA, NFL players, so every time I score, it's like the Super Bowl. Because Kanye is the rock, and Ray J is just a candy ass jabroni. One, two, three, and he got him! Kanye West, the people's champion. Hey guys, it's Murph from College Humor. Click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos and leave a comment. I'll get you started. Uh, am I the only one who didn't find this funny?